31, 29. We have an L, we have a C, R is 0, epsilon 0 is 0, so there's no driving voltage. And at T equals 0, I equals 0, and Q on the capacitor is either plus or minus Q0. One plate, of course, has a positive charge and the other plate has a negative charge. Positive, negative. I have some kind of a switch here. I have a self-inductance here. This is C and this is L. I close the switch at time T0. The current must be zero because the self-inductance opposes any sudden increase and so we want to evaluate now how the current is sloshing back and forth. This value, as you can calculate, is 0.0144 Coulomb as the whole process starts. Well, in order to meet the initial condition, I equals I0 times the sine of omega t, the phi is zero here, uh, omega squared equals 1 over LC, which is omega 0 squared, because notice there is no resistance. So this is the system, this is the frequency at which the system wants to drive itself, but there is no R. And so when you go back to the beginning of my session, you will see when you make R equals 0 that you get that the natural frequency of the system, omega 0, is the one at which the current will start to slosh. The charge on the capacitor will be some maximum value times the cosine of omega t, because remember I is the q dt. I equals the q dt. I take absolute values because I'm only interested in the magnitudes, and that will be q0 times omega times the sine of omega t. Notice I left the minus sign out because I'm only interested in absolute values. Now when I equals I0, all energy is in the L, in magnetic energy, one half Li0 squared. Now when I is zero, all energy is in the capacitor in the form of one half Q0 squared divided by Z, and there's no magnetic energy. Again, the voltages, as you would see them if you attach voltmeters over the C and over the L, would be 180 degrees out of phase. I want to remind you of that. So you get a sloshing current back and forth, and you get a conversion from all magnetic energy to all electric energy. There is no R, so there is no heat loss. So the whole thing keeps sloshing back and forth, and there is never any end to it, because it's only the R that will ultimately take out all the energy, but there wasn't any. <coughs> 